Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at some of the games coming out on the Switch in this upcoming week. We will be looking at games releasing from the 12th of December up until the 18th. The last few weeks have seen some big games arrive on the Switch such as Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, Doom Eternal and Immortals Phoenix Rising. Will this week bring any more games that are essential to your collection? I'm Glenn Bolger and now let's find out. Looking first at any games that released last week but were never on the eShop, therefore not in last week's video, and there's only really one of note and that is Drawn to Life 2 Realms. Now the Drawn to Life series started on the DS back in around I think it was 2007 and was published back then by THQ. These days 505 games have the publishing rights and this new sequel includes a brand new creation tool which includes millions of colours, unique stickers, templates and new hero animations, a continuation of the previous story with some of those original developers behind this game and over 100 unique challenges. It's selling for about £8.99 but does have 20% off that price which should still be valid for a couple more days at least by the time this video goes out. Moving on to this week's releases then and coming out on the 15th you have Collection of Saga Final Fantasy Legend. This is published by Square Enix and is a collection of three classic Game Boy games Final Fantasy Legend, Legend 2 and Final Fantasy Legend 3. Now whilst I'm no expert as far as I understand these games are actually the start of the Saga series but were rebranded with the Final Fantasy name when they came out in the West for some brand recognition to help boost sales. In much the same way as the first game in the Mana series on the Game Boy came out as Final Fantasy Adventure in some western regions back in the day. This collection makes upgrades to the original games with features such as a high speed mode and screen magnification. You have background customization and can also play the game vertically on the Switch once you've removed the Joy-Con to try and replicate the feeling of the Game Boy. It's going to sell for £14.99 and as I said releases on the 15th. Also on the 15th we have Boot Hill Heroes. This is the second in the Boot Hill series to come to the Switch following its sequel Boot Hill Bounties. I played that second game and actually really enjoyed it. It went into one of our buy or avoid videos. I'll put the link to that in the top end comment. I did hear that these games were inspired by Earthbound and you can see that in some respects in some of the mechanics and the overall look, although these have a western setting as opposed to an urban one. This is an RPG that has no random battles, you can avoid enemies on the screen and when you do go into battle rather than turn based it's more of a real time active combat system. It's playable with up to 4 players in co-op and sells for just £7.69. Like I said if it's anything like its sequel which was very good this could be a bit of a bargain if you're looking for a bit of a time sink. Next up then we have a tactical shooter named Synthetic Ultimate. There is a game called Synthetic Legion Rising on Steam and I'm assuming this is a version of that with all the bells and whistles included. So as I said this is a tactical shooter but it's a roguelite where it says freedom and experimentation is key. It has a very heavy emphasis on gunplay and says that there are many ways to play in an endless number of gear combinations. There are 8 customizable class specialisations such as a riot guard, a breacher, a sniper or an assassin and you can choose from 11 different difficulty modifications which can then be independently combined for a tailored experience. It's selling for £13.49 and this one comes out on the 16th. And next on the 17th you have Mercenaries Blaze Dawn of the Twin Dragons. This is of course part of the Mercenaries series which has already a few games on the Switch I believe. You have the Saga Collection as well as the False Phoenix. These are tactical RPGs in the same vein I guess as something like Final Fantasy Tactics. I've only ever played one of these that was on the 3DS and I'm assuming that one would be part of that Saga Collection. And this new one says it has full 3D battle maps with improved visuals and audio, two different paths to take the story down, optional battles that allow you to see more of the world, a new key power called Blaze Exceed, and the ability to manage your teams in terms of equipment, skills and classes. From the one that I played, I don't know how much the series has evolved since then, they are good games, with you having to think about your positioning on an isometric map in terms of elevation, enemy placement and even the direction that you face will have an effect on your attacking and your defending. 
As I said, it's out on the 17th and it will sell for £17.99. Then you have a game called Abyss of the Sacrifice. This looks to be a visual novel with the emphasis on escaping. Five girls wake up in an isolated underground city and will need to decide whether to work together or betray each other in order to try and get out. There are a host of different puzzles to try and solve and different endings to discover. And in terms of the premise at least, it sounds very much like one of my favourite games, Zero Escape Virtual's Last Reward, or the Zero Escape series in general. Whether it's as good as that remains to be seen, but I am intrigued by this game just on that idea alone. It's going to sell for quite a hefty £35.99, although there is 20% off of that price up until the 16th, and it doesn't look like the sort of game that will get a Western physical release, I could be wrong, but if you are interested, it comes out on the 17th. Next is Outbreak Lost Hope, which sells for £11.69, but does have 15% off that price up until the 23rd. There are loads of these Outbreak games on the Switch now. They are survival horror games, and the ones I'd seen so far had obviously borrowed very heavily from the earlier Resident Evil games, although funnily enough, this new one looks like it takes some inspiration from Silent Hill, so maybe they're just doing the rounds of the horror genre. It says experience a mother's desperate search for her daughter in the midst of a nationwide epidemic. An accident has caused you to be separated from your daughter, and you have to fight the undead to survive and save her. I've never played any of them as I've said, but from what I've heard they're not terrible games, they just obviously borrow elements from other more successful series. For the price they're going for, they may be worth a look, and this one comes out on the 17th. On the 17th you also have Unto the End. This game has been out elsewhere for a little while and I've seen quite polarizing opinions of it. Some people absolutely love it and swear by it, whereas other people say the combat is quite slow and it's very frustrating. Anyway, it's about a man that after going out hunting, loses his way and has to try and get home. It uses a very nice animation style and I think I'm right in saying that the emphasis is on combat but not in terms of throwing hundreds of enemies at you and it's more about having to learn the combat properly to fend off a few enemies in very difficult battles rather than just being overwhelmed. To build on from that, it says here on the blurb that it's a read-react combat system focusing on skill and mastery. It makes a point of saying it's a challenging single-player experience with minimal hand-holding, and the unforgiving terrain will also play a part in the difficulties that you will encounter. It's selling for £22.49, and having just read that, I can see why it has that Marmite effect of love it or hate it. Perhaps write in the comments what you think of this game, if you've played it, or even if you haven't. Does this one interest you? And finally for this week, we have 60 Seconds Reatomized. This is a remastered version of 60 Seconds, which is a post-apocalyptic comedy, I suppose you could call it, where you take charge of Dolores, Ted, Mary Jane and Timmy, trying to survive a nuclear apocalypse. This reatomized version features better 2D graphics and hand-drawn 3D textures, as well as improvements to the user interface and some new content. There is a new gameplay mode in Survival Challenge and new opportunities and ways to escape the wasteland. There is also a new relationship system with more stories and interactions available between you and the rest of the family members. You'll need to scavenge for food and supplies and use what you have well to try and survive. It's selling for just £8.50 and comes out on the 18th. Two, one, duck and cover. Welcome to your Fallout shelter. Make yourselves comfortable. You will be staying here for a while. It's time to ration food and water. Send expedition to the nuclear wasteland. So there you have it, another week of new releases on the Switch. I think it's fair to say there aren't any of the heavy hitters that have featured in the last few weeks, and it may well be a week where there isn't anything for a lot of people. Personally, I am quite interested in the collection of Saga, although I do need to finish the collection of Mana first, and I know that Boot Hill Heroes will be a good game if it's anything like its sequel. 
do let us know in the comments if any of these games interest you will you be picking any of them up and if anything drops after this please do feel free to put it in the comments section i know there was a whisper that the space invaders collection was coming this week but i can't find confirmation anywhere to be sure enough to put it in this video a quick thank you to our patreons as always for your continued support and to each and every one of you for watching our videos take care stay safe of course and until next time happy gaming